Yes. Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, coming to you from the couch. Um, I did my MRI a week ago, and it was an interesting experience. I'm going to share with you the tools that I used to make it through that experience. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my results, and yeah, it's going to be great. So, um, the MRI, if you don't know, that's like this huge magnet that they somehow use to make images. Um, uh, uh, quite a while ago, maybe a year ago or something, I met a person who had these magnet things that were healing and you like laid down and you put these magnets on you and I could feel them. I could feel their effect on me. I'm so sensitive to energy that I could feel it. And he said that only a certain portion of the society can actually feel it. Most people don't feel it happening. They just feel the results. Well, I could feel it happening. So you take this idea of a magnet that I could feel on this lower level and we put this with this huge magnet. I could feel it. I could feel the magnet. It felt like it was sucking me, sucking my knee. Um, it was very weird and my muscles really tensed up. And so I used my tools to make it through that and to be able to hold still. Um, some of them were breathing tool techniques, you know, like just focusing on my breath. Some of them were picking something to pay attention to. Like they let me listen to music. I chose Christmas music. And um, I was able to, like, I started focusing on the beat and looking for the beat in the song that helped me to give me something specific to look for to help keep my mind away from what was going on. I also, because every time they would start the magnet again, because um, it would do these different things for different pictures, and so it would make a lot of really loud noises, the its magnet was going again, and then it would kind of calm into a quiet moment while it switched to the next image. Every time at the, the loud noises and the magnet started up again, it's like I had to like readdress my knee. So the tools that I used, um, intentional resting, there's a guy named Dan Howard, I don't know how much he's still doing it, but you can still find videos of Dan Howard's talking about intentional resting. And it's where you, you say, I'm resting into this experience, and you take a deep breath, and I'm resting in, resting for this experience, and you take a deep breath. And so I would do that. You also can tune into specific things. So if I had a specific muscle that was extra tense, I'm resting for this muscle, and I'm resting into this muscle. I'm, I'm resting for my knee. I'm resting into my knee. And I would be doing that kind of thing throughout. The other tool that I found especially helpful was giving permission. Um, I give myself permission to feel things. I give myself permission to feel negative things, and I give myself permission to feel positive things, and then I ask myself which one I choose. So um, an example of this is I give myself to feel permission to feel fear. I give myself permission to feel trust. Do I choose to stay in fear? Do I choose trust? And occasionally I will choose the negative for a little while. And then... Um, I kind of give myself a time limit, and then I come back and evaluate again. Do I still choose to feel that lower vibration, or do I want to step in, up into the higher vibration? And nine times out of ten, I will choose a higher vibration. Probably like more like 19 out of 20 or 49 out of 50. I mean, like it's really rare for me to stay in that low space when I have the choice. When I give myself the choice to choose, permission to choose, Permission to stay in the negative place, most of the time, it's like, awesome, I have permission, but I don't want to. Um, sometimes I feel like it will serve me for a little while to stay in that place. And so I give myself permission to be there for a while. And it doesn't take very long because it's just a feeling that wants to be felt, addressed, and move out. And so I never stay in that negative space very long. For the MRI specifically, I gave my body very specifically my body, I gave my body permission to feel safe. 
And it was amazing how just saying that to myself in my mind, it gave my body permission to feel safe. It was like, all of a sudden, I just, it calmed down. It's like, okay, we have permission to feel safe. And sometimes it would be just like, I give myself permission to feel safe for this moment. I give myself permission to feel safe in this experience. Sometimes it's not easy to give yourself long-term permission to feel safe. If you are in a circumstance in your life where safety is not something you seem to feel all the time. Sometimes we, our energy is so programmed and so stuck in the fight or flight feeling that it's really hard to feel safe. But so for me, it was in that moment. I gave myself permission to feel safe in that moment. And I was able to calm and relax and make it through the MRI. And it's, I'm so grateful I had those tools because where my leg was tensing up and it would hurt and the muscles were tensing up and hurt. Imagine if I was never able to find a way to relax those muscles during that whole 45 minute experience. 45 minutes of your muscles clenching, you're not going to feel good. I mean, I already came away like super, my blood sugar was super screwed up and um, I spent actually until yesterday in pain. Um, my way out of pain, I will talk to you about in my next video because um, it's a totally different concept, but my body, like, still kind of stayed in that tense space from that experience, but I was able to relax it a lot, and if I would have had another tool that I now have, but I didn't have at the time, I would have been able to get out of that main pain and actually be relaxed, and back to my every once in a while it has pain, but most of the time I'm fine situation. So did I tell you what the doctors said about my MRI? I'm not sure if I did. Um, where the ACL attaches to the bone, the ACL broke away. The ACL, they say, looks, as far as they can tell, it looks fine. And so hopefully it is so that they don't have to replace the ACL because that will heal faster if it's my own ACL and just that it has to be reattached in the bone and the bone heal. That will heal faster, so let's hope that's what it is. Um, there was also a little bit of breakage in the bone, and I'm pretty sure that the muscles were super strained and because of just where some of the pain is is very muscular. Um, and so just a combination. It's kind of like this break-sprain combination thing. And next step is calling and getting an appointment with the orthopedic surgeon, which hopefully the the workers comp has approved all of that so that I can and then I will know when I'm having surgery and I'm super excited for surgery and not because I want to be in surgery but because that means that when the surgery is done then my body can literally just focus on healing right now it's like this weird limbo place where my body wants to heal but I can't have healing because it's just going to have to get re-injured during the surgery. So it's this weird limbo place. And so I'm really looking forward to the surgery just because then it means that we're on the other side of the mountain and we're going to move into um, total recovery. And I'm excited for that. So I hope that you found something helpful in this video. I am very grateful for you and your, um, your dedication to watching my channel and um, your love and light and blessings. I'm super grateful for those as especially as I'm going through this really weird time. I'm also going through this fun little adventure as I'm taking on this this space in my life. I'm using it as a time to also get really clear on what my life is going to look like and that's awesome too. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I love you. Mwah. Remember to let your light shine, big, bright, live, and beautiful.